For the last two years, I haven't used the HDR 10-bit footage on my iPhones because I couldn't color grade it in Premiere Pro and make it look tasty, to look really nice. But yesterday, finally, accidentally, I found how to do it properly. There are three ways how you can do it in Premiere Pro. The first one was to use a LUT, but all the LUTs I have ever used, they were horrible. Now I'm gonna show you the two working solutions at the current moment. First, let's grab our footage. That's the 10-bit version. You can recognize it because everything is so much overblown. And that's the 8-bit footage. That will be our North Star. My mistake before working with that kind of footage, trying to cover grade it, was that I was pulling the wrong sliders. I would start with the highlights and I'll push them down. After that, I'll start with the whites and I'll push them down. And then I'll play with the shadows. We'll push all as well the shadows and uh, a little bit reduce the exposure. Compare that one to this one and you see that the 8-bit footage is quite usable and it's 10 times better. But pulling the wrong sliders. This is how you should do it. You directly grab the exposure and you pull it to around minus Three. The point is to look the diagram and, and at the moment the diagram stops touching the 100, that means that you're in the right uh, settings. And now we start playing with the highlights and the shadows. We can boost the shadows because the image is quite dark. We can reduce a little bit more the exposure and then we can boost the contrast. Next we'll boost a little bit the saturation. And now compare that image to the 8-bit and you can see that we did a pretty damn good job. Here is our overblown 10-bit HDR footage. And just go to the project folder, find the clip, right click, modify, press interpret footage. And here in the bottom, select cover space. And from the list, select rect 709. Press OK. Now you can work freely with the 10-bit HDR footage, easy busy. Premiere Pro did the update recently and it's so damn good right now. Finally, we can color grade those 10-bit files. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. See you in the next one.